Doesn't make any sense, I know, but I justified it in my own brain. I have not been giving synopsis. You know what I mean? She's got a book for every situation. Hi, people I love. Welcome back to MG's Library. My name is Mary Grace, and this is my library. Hi, kitty beans. How are you all? Happy, what day is it? Thursday. Happy Thursday. We will be doing a book haul. This is like an accumulation of like three months, two months. But before, but before, before we get serious here, people, grab your beverage. You know, my water's sitting over there and I don't want to grab it. But rest assured, I do have a beverage. You know, grab yours. Take a sippy do. <laughs> Let's get into this. <laughs> I've been putting all of my new books into this like box thing so I can keep them separated. So I have this box. It says she's got a book for every situation. <laughs> Let's get started. First book, Paper Girls 3. I'm reading this for the Hannah Montana Readathon. I should be reading it right now. <laughs> Next couple books fell from heaven. Ray, Reagan, she went to an Ollie's outlet i think it's called like ollie's bargain outlet i think and i'd never been in one and neither had she and today she went into one and was like i found all of these amazing hardcovers for like a dollar 99 and i was like i'm going to mine so i went to mine and these books are birthed from there i got magnus chase and the gods of asgard by rick riordan for $3.99, y'all. $3.99. This cover is insane. I'm so excited to read this. Now that I've gotten into Percy Jackson, I'm like obsessed with Rick Riordan and I want to read everything he's ever written. Next book I got from there. I read this book at the beginning of quarantine. Absolutely loved it. And I feel honored to own the hardcover again, but better by Christine Riccio. Riccio? I don't know. I'm sorry, Christine. $2.99, people. $2.99. Like, come on, come on. Alrighty, the next book I got from there, I got The Graces. This book cover is insane. I got this for $1.99. The Graces by Lore Eve. Um, I saw this in Barnes & Noble a few times, but I had to pick it up. It was $1.99. Come on now, come on now. This is probably my the one I'm most excited for. I got Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff for a dollar 99 y'all and it was the only one they had of it <laughs> everyone loves this book and i just want to read it i honestly don't even know what it's about have i been giving you any synopsis sorry i'll start now the next one the last book i got there was kingdom of ash by sarah j moss for 2.99 can y'all believe like so go to uh, an ollie's if you have an ollie's by you i genuinely i just can't process that the next book I actually thrifted this one was The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series. <laughs> next books I thrifted, this one's kind of dumb, but I really did love this book in like middle school and I wanted to own it. It is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I honestly have minimal memory of what this book is about, but it's about like this girl who is in love with this guy and then she goes into like a coma and the guy's like trying to get her out of it does that sound right that sounds like so inconsiderate of the story it's much deeper than that and it is really beautifully written and i really did love it maybe it doesn't hold up as well now but i liked it at the age of 15. <laughs> next book next book next book i got emma by jane austen y'all know i love my girl jane austen and this is just the cutest cover ever and like it someone like wrote like a, i think someone was trying to write their own name it says like someone wrote enema enema stay classy people i'm really honored to own this book <laughs> next book i got this one deserves some explanation sophomore year of high school i was the library assistant. Um, it was like a class you could take and no one wanted to take it, but of course I wanted to take it. So I was literally the librarian's assistant. So for a whole period and our periods were an hour and a half, I would sit in the library and check people out, check their books out and I would read the rest of the time. Anyways, there wasn't like a great selection in our library. So I had to really be picky choosy. And I started reading 
Confessions of Georgia Nicholson, the series. I absolutely freaking love these books. I don't know if anybody's ever read them. This one is Startled by His Furry Shorts. Um, the first book is called Angus Bongs and Full Frontal Snogging. I'm sure you've heard of the movie, but these books are hilarious. Like, I want to read them now just to see how, like, what I would think about them. And I want to collect the series. This next book was sent to me by one of my best friends, Naima. I love you so much. Thank you for sending this to me. I literally... I swear my head touched the ceiling. I jumped so high when I opened this. It is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I've never read a Colleen Hoover. I've never. This is gonna be my first one and I'm so excited. I'm ready for it to wreck my, my life. The next book was also sent to me by one of my best friends, Mare, I love you so much. I literally cannot believe that I own this book. It's like literally one of the prettiest covers of a book ever and everyone that's ever read is obsessed with it. It is Lovely War by Julie Berry. I have not given a single synopsis. Whatever, y'all don't come here for synopsis. Y'all come here for, I don't know what you come here for, but you don't come here for synopsis. Y'all know you aren't getting one. This is about like four friends and a love story as told by Aphrodite. I'm just so excited. This looks like a such a dope book. Ooh, Hades, Aphrodite. I'm so excited to start this. I'm definitely gonna read that this month um, because Mare is also reading it and I wanna read it with her. Next book I also thrifted, Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I actually have Cinder, but I have not read it. I do really wanna read them and this cover was just too beautiful. Also, it was thrifted, like I couldn't leave it there. What do you think, I am a monster? I believe Scarlet is a retelling of Red Riding Hood. Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, that cover is freaking beautiful. I need to get this sticker off. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is probably my biggest flex. This is my biggest flex of this video. I won't lie to you. It is No Exit by Taylor Adams. And everyone literally loved it. I'm not a huge thriller gal, but I really want to read this just to like know. You know what I mean? I will be reading this sooner rather than later. I want to read this with M. Also, it's a book of the month book. Come on now. Come on now, y'all. I got I had to get it. And that was it, y'all. That was my haul. Month or two accumulation of some bookies. I really always wanted to buy books that I really loved, wanted to read, and were passionate about to create a library that I could be like, I love all these books. I've read all these books. And I think these are all the perfect addition to that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Honestly, hauls are my favorite videos to watch, and I hope that you guys like this one. I hope I did all of the haulers justice out there. I hope you have a good weekend. Let me know what you guys are doing. Anything fun? If you're reading anything fun, let me know. I'm sending all the good love and energy your way. If y'all don't already, subscribe to me. As you can see, this is a very fun, hectic, comfortable place. I don't know how any of those words relate to one another, but for some reason they do here. <laughs> Come to MG's library. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'll see you lovers on Monday. I love you so, so much. Mwah! Yeah, yeah, yeah.